five hot selling toys that you never want to pass up when selling on eBay. What's going on everybody? My name's Steve and I'm here with Vinny the Toy Master. And today we're going to be talking about five hot selling items. We're actually going to bring you into my computer if you can see that right here. And we're going to show you these five products that we've sold a lot. They sell quick. They sell for a really great profit. And we're going to dive into our computer and we're going to show you these items, what to look out for, how much to pay, how much they're going to sell for, you know, to help you to grow your business. So with uh, Vinny, is there anything else you want to say before we jump into this video? Um, these are five toys that if I see them, I grab them. Um, they always are priced low and they always have good margins. Um, if you see them at tag sales, thrift stores, uh, auctions, wherever you may see them, like you can get them for low and I always pick these up. Cool, so I'm in the sold listings right now. You should be able to see my screen on the video. And the first item that we're gonna talk about is a brand that's called Monster High Dolls. Now, there's a whole bunch of listings here. We're actually in the sold listings. And uh, Vinny, I don't know if you see anything that catches your eye that you'd like me to, to pull up. But as you can see, these items are selling, and they're yeah, selling fast. Yeah, just even four of them. Look at, look at the four. This was, at the time of this recording, it's April, April 12th. It'll probably take a week or two until we get this video up. But at the time of this recording, these things are selling multiple times a day, a whole bunch of them, and it's not even a good listing. Yeah, so why don't you know, talk about this? Got, I mean, typically these Monster High dolls, they're scary looking dolls, and they um, they have a lot of colorful themes, and, and basically they're, they're themed after monsters. And um, they typically sell for about eight to ten dollars a piece in lots it doesn't sound like a lot of money though i mean yeah but if you that's if per you item them, yeah like i'll see a lot of these in bags um at savers for 3.99 they'll put two or three of them in there and mm. it's basically you get it in two dollars a doll and i'll see them sometimes at tag sales someone has a whole bin for like 10 bucks or 15 bucks or whatever so break that down eight bucks a doll on average say you get three of them in a bag you pay what 2.99 or something yeah so you pay three and you're gonna sell it for is that eight bucks plus shipping or eight bucks shipped? Um, I just value it as eight bucks shipped, like just all together. Gotcha. So three dollar investment, you sell for twenty four. You're probably double or tripling your investment. Oh yeah, like for sure. that. Yep. And it's fast sellers. These things fly off the shelf. Like even broke it. If you if you find these and like oh one's missing an arm, one's missing a head, like. People will buy just the parts to make their own creations and make mocks of these dolls. So you can even sell individual heads or broken parts. And now, can you just type one thing at the, at the title to show them? Can you type O-O-A-K after all that? Just type O-O-A-K. And what do these mean? It's like one of a kind and they repaint them. So if you can see like... Oh, like this one, right? Yeah, they buy custom body parts. Head, like they just buy... Um, they buy the lot of dolls to customize them and, and change them the way they want. So see how they're missing arms and oh. legs. And so these are valuable at all points. Like this is one of the craziest wow. things I've, I've seen in a long time. Now let me ask you a question because I don't know a ton about these, but I know we've talked about this in the past. Can you buy them normal and then paint them and, and create more value or does it kind of stay in the same value? Oh yeah, you should see some of the ones people paint. It goes for 300, 200, like it's crazy. It, that you would have to type in custom to see those. See, there's one, there's one, there's one. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Right there. Someone custom painted the oh, head. Oh, wow. Yeah, look you at paint. that. That's really cool. So let's uh, let's move on. Uh, next item that we have are dino trucks. Uh, yeah. So um, this is supposed to be, these are the dino trucks right there. The trucks what am I looking at trucks here? Trucks is with an X. Oh, Sorry, that's my bad. dino. There's one word, yeah. Dino trucks. Yeah. You're okay. looking at these things, you're like, what, is, what did Steve type in here? So these are, anytime I see them, I pick these up. Um, I mostly find them in bags at Savers. That's where I find them. I've seen them at tag sales, and people ask like a dollar a piece and stuff like that. And these go very well in lots. They sell very well individually. Some models go for 30, 50 bucks by themselves. I mean, um, they're die cast metal and they're in the shape of mm. dinosaurs and they're made from a, uh, oh, yeah, from look a at Netflix that. TV show. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, and um yeah, they're they're about 
some of them are, as you can see, some of them are worth 20 bucks. Oh, 20 bucks for one? By itself, yeah. You ever find a bag of three or four of them? I found a whole bag of over $100 worth <sighs> in a two ninety nine bag before. Who would have known? Now, this is something I'm sure you can just crush it at with garage sales. At they're garage small, sales yeah, or they're auctions. small, they're easy. Yeah, if you see those Flea things, markets? If you see a box of those things, you hit a jackpot. Literally a jackpot if you can find these. And... They are not rare. They're everywhere. That's why I don't understand why they're so high is because I see them all the time. Wow. I literally see these things constantly. So I've sold 30 dozens bucks. upon dozens. I've sold that guy four times. In, <laughs> in 40 years, I've sold him four times for exactly the same 30 bucks every time. The Rolodon. Wow. Guarantee his name's Rolodon, right? <laughs> Rolodon. And he Got is it. correct. Cool. So be on the lookout for that. Next up, we're going to be talking about something that is called lifelike slot cars. Now, I had never heard of this before. Um... If nobody knows what a slot car is, I'm sure most people know what a slot car is, but you don't. It's a small mini car with metal um, connectors on the bottom that attach onto a metal track and you press a trigger and it gives the electrical current and makes the car go around the track, all the way around, all the way around. And um, there's a bunch of different brands. There's Aurora that is good, um, Lifelike, what we're talking about here, those are good. And people buy um, the individual cars to put on their tracks so or they collect them. Like, you can get twenty to fifty to a hundred bucks for These are so individual car. Yeah. Look at the dates too. Today's April twelfth, 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 eleven, eleven, yeah. eleven, eleven. And they will be, they will be, they will say lifelike somewhere on the body. Life dash like. Dude, imagine going to like. Tyco, AFX, those are the other ones. But yeah. imagine going to a flea market or an auction and just buying a whole bin of these things for 10 bucks. I'm not saying it, it's going it to happen. Could happen. I'm not going to say that you're, that's going to happen to you. But it's not that uncommon. <sighs> what if, what if my relative collected those and now we're yeah cleaning out his house and we don't know what the heck it is it's just little cars to us you know i'm gonna go to highest price first because i want to see if there's anything crazy here look, look at, at these that. four for 350 these must be like rare ones huh? those are tycos are these different oh th this is a different brand yeah this isn't the lifelike yeah but I, most of these these companies and these brands do do very well. That's what they look so like. So is that what there. you're looking for? That uh, that's, that's that metal the, part on the bottom. Those are the shoes. Yeah, they call them shoes, and and they are the things that go on the track. Oh, interesting. So this is how you can tell the difference between that and like just a normal matchbox. Yeah, or it's something. got a motor in the middle that spins around. So this is called again. What what is this called? This is a slot. These are slot cars, and they're HO scale. So that means they're like. It's hard to explain scales, but it's they're, they're smaller. Yeah, scales are the different sizes, Yeah. right? Now, are there any slot cars that aren't valuable that are just like trash? Or like um, if you come across that, that undercarriage? I'm sure there are mass-produced made-in-China ones that are, aren't very valuable. Um, but most of the older ones, I would say, are, are pretty valuable. People, like, they collect these a lot. Look, you're, you, there's so many sold listings for these things. Yeah, that's crazy. And look at the rat, the race, tr the rat, the racetrack uh, right here. Two hundred seven bucks. Yeah, so be on the lookout for slot cars. Anything slot cars is usually good. I would take the time to look them up and see if you can find the company and stuff like that. What are we on to next? This is toy number four. These are, you know, we're sharing five hot selling toys. And I do want to say right now, if you like this video, you enjoy, you know, learning about the different brands and products. If, if you're getting value out of it, smash that like button, leave a comment. Also check the link in the description for more videos like this. Um, I always list a bunch of videos and also check out Vinny's guides. He's has, he has over four guides he's created. They're all up to date, sharing the hottest most you know top selling products and they're not just lists they're full in depth you and, know guides that are one to two hundred pages and all these things are currently hot like you can currently find these and flip them for really good money like and now we're going to move on to the chugging tin these are trains kind of like thomas the train if you're familiar with thomas the train it's it's similar it's a tv show it's a train tv show but they're a little bit different they have three different types like the thomas ones they have electrical ones where you press the button and they make sounds. You have wooden ones and you have metal ones. Um, obviously the battery operated ones do the best. And you can see right now, you can get 10 to 20 bucks for individual ones, 40 to 50 for lots of five, six, seven. Um, the die cast ones are really good. The wooden ones are really good. Like these things are just good all right around. If you find tracks that go with them. Look at this listing right here. $165. Now, I'm, I did sort it by the highest, so I'm not saying you guys are going to find these, but it's good to know. Look, they have the carrying case with the uh, with all the You know what's tins. funny? That's a cheap price for that. I would have probably thought... Was it thought, a buy it now or an auction? Um, let's take a look. 
It looks like it was a buy it now. Yeah, so he didn't he didn't know what he had there because I would have put that at auction for two hundred. Mm. That that's just me. Like you have everything you need. Like how rare is that to find that? And you just put one sixty. Well, I guess that's all he wanted. He literally has everything. Yeah. You know how difficult it is to have all that? Yeah, and we talk about this all the time. If you have a toy set or whatever, if it's complete with all the accessories, you know, you're looking at a big bump in, oh, yeah. in value right here. So yeah, look out for these Chuggington trains. Familiar, familiarize yourself with their the way they look, the way the faces are. Um, and if you see these, pick these things up in lots. So most times you can get good money for individual ones. <laughs> If you can find them new. Asher Adam. I've sold a used one for 20 25 before. Yeah. I've Asher Adam. All right, last but not least, we're going to dive into our fifth hot selling toy to flip on eBay. And we're going to talk about vintage mass toys. Yeah, these are Kenner mass toys, M A S K. And um, it's an action figure line from, I believe it's from the late 80s, right? They're like 87, 89, somewhere around there. And um, they're basically little action figures. Whoa. Yeah. I've sold that car. They before. turn into airplanes. Yeah, some of the vehicles are. Um, huh. I'm not too familiar with the show, so I'm sorry I can't speak on it very much. But I know that these things are valuable. There's a huge cult following for these guys. Wow. If you can find these vehicles and and action figures complete or brand new in box, like you're looking at jackpots. Like you literally are looking at a lot of money. See the. So be on the lookout for these masks. Like I said, you got to familiarize yourself with the way they look. What they look like. Um, Did they all come with a figure inside, or is that an they're addition? They're made by Kenner. Yeah, they the, the play sets should have came with a figure and accessories, or a figure and vehicles. Look at that stuff right like there. That. So that's what you want to look for right there. The Kenner Parker Toys, 1986. That's like a early version, because the ones that I'm reckon I recognize are 1987, 1989. This looks like it's way too little of a price for like being complete. Look at the condition. Sometimes what you have to understand about sold listings is. Sometimes I like to look at the auction prices better than the buy it nows because people, you don't understand, people can price their items any way they want with the buy it now, right? Yeah. So therefore, your item may be worth 100 but what if you priced it wrong and you put it at 50 and you got the sold listing at 50 So it could be, see now that tells you like 32 bids. Like that's what I like seeing. I like the bids because it lets you show show you that like other people are, are creating the... Um, yeah, this was two bids right here. Oh wait, is this? Oh, this has a bunch of different things in it. That's Star Wars. But it's got Kenner. Why is? Kenner also made Star Wars. Oh, oh that's a that's a crazy nice lot. I'll yeah. tell you that. Look at that. Yeah. So yeah, um, look out for the Kenner Mass toys. Those are very, very popular, and they do get a lot of money. Interesting. Cool. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then uh, be sure to smash that like button. Was there something else you want to say? Uh, Monster anything? High, Chuggington, Lifelike Slot Cars. What else did we cover? The Mask. Kenner Masks. There was one more. You're going to have to help us out. <laughs> Be on the lookout for those guys. Yeah. Those fast sellers, fast, really and there's, fast sellers. There's, there's literally hundreds and thousands of different toys and brands out there. That's why, you know, I've been bringing Vinny on the channel so often because, you know, for the folks who have been selling on eBay for years and years, it's easy, right? You know that it works. You have the skill set. But when you're new, it's, sometimes it's tough to kind of break into a into a category. And that's why I love clothing and Vinny loves toys because it's such a huge, broad category that it's overwhelming. And there's But there's so much room for you to take a slice of that pie. So hopefully this video added value to you. If it did, let us know in the comments if you have any video suggestions. Also, check out Vinny's guides. I'll put a link down below with some coupon codes if you want to support the channel. Real quick, how tell them honestly, since we've been doing these videos, how many toys do you think you could possibly identify now than you could before? How many? Like, take a guess. Like, I mean, is it, it's not five. It's no, 20, it's, it's probably 50. like 50 to 100 toys. If I, I remember when I used to go to the thrift store, I mean, I'll be honest with you now, one through 10, 10 being an expert and one being an idiot. Like, I'm still probably a three. Because with toys, watching the videos, you'll learn. But you have to go out and experiment and try and yeah. list. And, you know, I've always been focused on other items, right? I bring you on more or less to help my audience. And no, whatnot. but I need, like, I mean, like, identify yeah, what you're yeah. looking at. Oh, I've hit you up with quite a few scores from garage yeah, yeah. sales and different things like that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you don't have to be an expert in toys. But I always recommend, you know, become an expert on, like, the top 5%, 10% in all categories. Glassware, 
clothing, books, so on and so forth. So you never have to leave a thrift store or an auction or a flea market empty handed. Yeah, exactly. And toys you know? are a lot of, people leave toys behind too much, I think. Yeah. They don't yeah. take advantage of and them. And most people think they're trash. They really do. The same with books and clothing. Why are they being sold at tie sales for so cheap? Of yeah, course they think. Because they don't think they're worth anything, and that's good. So, shh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Much love. Bye. Peace.